Hello, and welcome to another episode of Kuya Dev Tidbits Podcast. I am Rem. I am your Kuya Dev. So this episode will be very special. Um, I tried to make my episode episodes na ano eh, na hindi masyadong time bound. Na kahit na i-play mo siya today or five years, uh, ten years into the future, as much as possible, sana relevant pa rin yung, yung episode. But for this episode, medyo ibay natin. Kasi as, I, as I've said uh, at the start of the episode, medyo special to. Kasi by the time that this publishes, birthday ko. So, this is the first time in, you know, three, third season ko pa lang to. But, this is the first time na magkakaroon ako ng birthday episode. So, no, time bound siya. Uh, by default. <laughs> so, I, I would like to to take this opportunity to explain or to discuss my motivations talaga for Kuya Dev. Ano ba talaga yung gusto kong mangyari? Why did I start Kuya Dev? Why did I start Tech Career Shifter Philippines? Ano ba yung nakikita ko? Ano yung nagiging parang vision ko? No. Again, 10, 20 years from now. Ayaw kong maging parang cheesy or, you know, uh, Ano tawag nila doon? Hindi uh, ko alam matandaan yung term eh. But whatever I'm going to say here is real. Ito talaga yung gusto ko mangyari. I don't believe in charity. Di ako nanin- I mean, I believe in it. <laughs> Mali yata yung term ko. I believe in charity. But not in a way na parang, I don't believe na parang madali siyang skill And I don't feel na in the world that we have today, we need another charity. Na, or actually, that I should be building a charity. But kailangan natin ng mga charity. Uh, that's, that's, don't get me wrong. Uh, kailangan niya sa society. But personally, ayokong bumuo ng charity. I don't want to build something that's non-profit. Medyo parang, ano, ayoko parang makikita nyo yung direction nung gusto ko sabihin. But I want to build something na creates impact. But it's scalable. But it's also profitable impactful scalable profitable so although charity is good kaso may ano yan eh what i see about what i you know whenever i look at charity parang tied ka sa mga sponsors mo di ba parang pagka wala kang pera of course uh, mamamalimos ka ngayon di ba punta ka sa mga corporates and sometimes, syempre, pagka nagbigay yung isang corporate, or corporation, or you know, mayaman na individual, na hindi naman talaga bukal sa puso, or it's just part of something na kailangan nilang gawin, there are times na parang may catch yung donation. That's what I don't like about charity. Na palika. Doon sa nagofan sa yo no di not di lagi ha? but you know that's a very huge downside that i see ayo ang gawin yon what i want is to build something na na you know impact driven but profitable enough to sustain the business and to expand you know to scale kasi I want to, whatever I'm currently doing right now, 
malayo pa sa gusto kong mangyari talaga eh. Gusto ko na, you know, yung impact niya, umabot sa kasulok-sulukan ng Pilipinas. To that kid na walang um, means to to access what we can access here in Manila. I'm in Manila, so, you know, maybe a lot of you are. But I'm hoping that they can access what we, you know, every one of us can access. At nangunguna na doon yung opportunity. What I like about the tech industry is it's a very promising equalizer. It equalizes everything. You know? Basta marunong kang mag-code. Marunong kang mag-solve ng problems. You are very curious. Gusto mong mag-aral. And you're willing to put that effort para aralin yung mga bagay-bagay. The tech industry can be a very fruitful uh, industry to be in. Very, being in tech is going to be a fulfilling career. And not only, you know, in, in terms of fulfillment, pati sa, you know, monetary. Aminin natin yan. And there are platforms now that are bridging that gap na, you know, equalizing things even further. Na, di na ako contento na, oh, oh, equalizer and tech, ganyan, ganyan, but not everyone still can get into tech. Hindi pa, di pa lahat. Like, you know, someone in Samar or someone in Aurora or someone in Kalinga can still access what we can access. The knowledge, yung internet lang, you know, di ko nga alam kung yung, may, mga, may mga lugar pa na kahit 3G man lang, wala pa. And of course, wala rin laptops or desktops. So I want to find a way to solve that. Na sa ngayon, wala pa, di pa, di pa kaya. Kasi nga, we would need money for that. We would need manpower for that. And I don't want to build a charity to do that. Because matatay tayo sa mga... Ano, Ayoko silang masamain, but that's the reality. A lot of these uh, companies, syempre, lagi may strings attached. I don't like that. Ayoko na may nagdidikta sa akin dahil sila lang nagbigay yung pera, di ba? Sa kanila galing yung pera. Ayoko ang gawin yun. May mga organization na gumagawa nun. Bahala na sila doon. Ako, I want an entity sana. Kung tapala rin, an entity that does that while being profitable, while while giving people jobs, you know, fulfilling jobs, good, uh, decent paying jobs na tutulong din sa iba. You know, and giving access to every Filipino na willing. So, how does that tie into what I'm doing currently sa Kuya Dev and Tech Career Shifter Philippines? Actually, yung vision ko si talaga, yung ultimate vision ko, yung sinabi ko kanina, is just part of the whole grand vision. But the ultimate vision ko is for the Philippines to lead the world in technological talent. Yun talaga ang vision ko. Sobrang ambitious, but it's a vision, di ba? It's, it's something that you work towards. Kahit di mo maabot in your lifetime, maybe you could, no? Uh, you could pave the way for other people to do that, no? After you passed. Kahit maka lang, maka move man lang yung da, ma move man lang yung dial just a few inches. Yeah. So, ito nga. Kuya Dev, it's been more than a year palang, uh, a few months, uh, a few months 
no since the the anniversary and what i'm trying to put out here is actually a combination of what i've observed in my previous industry and what what i'm observing in my current industry so there's a partic particular culture in the philippines na sobrang toxic i want to get rid muna yun lang muna get rid of that culture spread a more positive culture collaborative culture na andito tayo para magtulungan kasi di ba, the, the the stage is global na hindi na local but tayo nag-aaway-aaway but tayo nagko-compete sa isa't isa when in fact we should be competing globally we should be no pitting ourselves against like european talent american talent sabi natin pati indian talent di ba actually india is the perfect blueprint of of what i want to achieve na look at now sa silicon valley sino ba ngayon yung mga executives diba? mga ceo sina natcha natcha na dela ganun diba they're indians tinatawanan natin sila diba na yung iba arang mag magcode ganyan ganyan but sa dami nilang developers there are bound to be exceptional people uh, exceptional engineers na lalabas talaga eh. sa dami eh, di ba and yun na nga nagbubunga na nga yun nangyari na ang dami na lang ngayon sa Silicon Valley leading these companies Microsoft GitHub so yun yung gusto ko mangyari sa Pilipinas na maging leader tayo sa global landscape in tech talent. And if that happens, if we achieve that 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 that, that goal, that vision, imagine kasi I don't know. If if you if you observe, di ba, pagka marami yung tech talent, what's bound to happen then is for innovation to flourish. Kasi usually kasi ang tech by default is a leader in innovation. Kasi laging bago yan, mga yan. Laging may nadi-discover ng mga advances. So, pag mayabong yung ano nyo, pagka maraming tech talent at sobrang vibrant ng tech uh, community nyo and tech, you know, tech industry sa country nyo, malamang sa malamang, innovation will follow not only will we produce exceptional engineers that would lead global companies but maybe can even lead big tech but also we would produce individuals who would build the next big tech and maybe solve a lot of our country's problems and not only our country's pro country's problems but also worldwide global uh, issues you never know it but ang, ang mangyayari dito parang ano yeah? uh, if sabi nila di ba parang may nabasa ako nitong ano lang eh nitong umaga lang eh na if 9 out of 10 startups fail then build 10 startups kumbaga parang you up your chances by creating more so ganun din dito sa tech, tech sa tech industry ng tech talent by creating more tech talent siguro naman Di ba? Parang makachamba man lang tayo. Isa, dalawa, tatlo na exceptional engineers dyan and problem solvers and uh, tech technopreneurs na maging ano talaga mag mag pave for, ano, for mag pave the way for innovation to flourish talaga sa Pilipinas. Di ba? Ganun. So yun yung vision ko. 
talagang dumami yung exceptional talent dito. Hindi lang basta ano ha, ayoko yung sa, tulad, tulad na nangyari sa India na parang ano eh, tsambahan din, di ba? Karamihan developer pero di naman talaga as ah, ang pangit ng code. Kailangan the quality should be good. Yung baseline quality natin maganda. Na, na pagka kahit sabihin natin pinaka sabihin natin p- pinakamahinang developer ng Pilipinas is still really good. Yun yung gusto ko mangyari. Yun yung baseline. Then, from there, no, pataas sa 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 sa, sa tier, magaling na magaling. Hanggang sa umabot tayo sa may mga S, uh, class S na mga halimaw <laughs> na developer. And then, entrep- uh, technopreneurs. So that's what I want to happen. Dumami talaga tayo. And ma-expose tayo, no? Kasi, syempre, pagka maraming ano rito, tapos makita ng, ng, ng mundo, and, uh, yung mga global companies na yan, na magaling ang mga Pilipino, syempre, they will hire us. Yeah. And if that happens, whatever they know, we learn. Whatever best practices, business practices, and uh, new 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 advance advancements in business and technology we get to learn and bring back to the philippines and share with you know our countrymen and you know magiging cycle na yun para snowball na yan eh di ba yun yung gusto mangyari sobrang i mean i mean realistic naman ako na baka hindi natin magawa yan in, in, in my lifetime but, uh, I'm just one guy no? uh, but baka naman di ba? at man lang makiusog ko man lang na onti papunta rin sa sa vision na yun tapos bahala na yung iba kung gusto nila ituloy yun yung gusto ko mangyari and Kuya Dev yun nga lahat ng content ko rito hanggat maaari revolves around that vision Actually, pati mission, it's a vision mission, right? Magka, magka ano yan. So my mission is talagang to create those people, those, those tech talent. Pero yung vision ko talaga is for Philippines to be uh, a global leader in technological talent and innovation. Actually, naka-embed dyan sa mission vision din ng, ano, eh, ng tech career shifter Philippines. Eh. Explicitly, nakalagay yon. And I want to really embody that in everything that I do for Kuya Dev and TCS. So yun, um, so expect na ganun talaga magiging content ko rito sa Kuya Dev. Try to, try to get people to, to uh, transition into tech and for people who are already into tech to, to you know, maybe convince them or you know, influence them to be better engineers and to be collaborative people, collaborative professionals. Sama-sama tayo dito, di ba? Walang ano, walang yabangan, walang ano, kasi yun nga, ang, <laughs> di natin lahat, ako man, di ko alam lahat to. I, didn't, I don't even know if, you know, what the future holds. I'm just trying to plant those seeds. And yeah, you know, obvious naman, the career shifter really, really fits in that vision. Kasi, the career shifter Philippines, eh, we help people get jobs in tech. You know? In one way or another, in how, you know, hindi uh, naman natin kayang ibigay lahat, di ba? kung ano lang yung kaya natin i- i-impart, you know, insights, motivation, um, knowledge, technical knowledge, kung kaya, we do that in, the, in in that group. And hopefully, you know, may mga ano naman, may mga nagsasabi na nakakatulong, may mga nakakapag-transition. And I hope, I really hope na parang manormalize to. Not only in tech, in even other industries that it's okay to it's okay to change careers, you know? uh, walang walang ano. What, hindi ka walan yan pagka ano, binitawa mo yung previous career mo. Kung hindi ka naman masaya doon, but, 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 but why are you holding on to that career? If you're going to be, if you're going to be happier on this other path, 
why not pursue that right no? kung gusto mo maging tiktok ano tiktok uh, influencer na it and it, it and it turns out to be profitable why not pursue that and in tech it's very uh, inuulit-ulit ko tech is very unique na it's well, actually not only uh, but it's one of the uh, industries na talagang sobrang accepting sa mga career shifters so why not take advantage of that actually yun nga nangyari sa india eh. they took advantage of that why aren't we doing that no? so hopefully that clears up why i'm doing this um ilang naman what what's in it for me di ba sabi nga yun naman yun naman madalas sa tanong diyan eh ano ano mo mapapapala ko rito uh, ang usually na motivation ng iba yun syempre pera di ba pera uh, myself hindi na masyado um about money uh, i'm trying to put my fin- finances in order as you know onting investment dito onting investment diyan para Hopefully, ba by the next decade or so, medyo hindi na kami dependent on a job to to live, no? Our day-to-day lives. Hindi na kailangan ng, ano, kumbaga maging financially independent. Kasi pagka financially independent ka na, you can pursue other, ano, other, other endeavors like this. I want to pursue this endeavor full time na hindi inaalala yung kakainin ko bukas. So I'm trying to uh, work things out. Uh, my, my wife and I, I try, are trying to work things out para um, hopefully, ano lang yan eh, uh, medyo may gamble din syempre, uh, crossing fingers. Hopefully in the future, din namin kailanganin na magtrabaho dahil kailangan namin ng pera. Di ba? So I'm trying to remove that from the equation. So that my, you know, yung intentions ko maging pure. If your intentions are, intentions are pure, di ba? Mas maganda yung, ano eh, kalalabasan. At least sa, sa pananaw ko. So yeah, um, of course, uh, not only that, yun nga, sinabi ko, sinabi ko sa umpisa, I want to build uh, something, whatever that is, that's profitable. And profitable, profitable enough so that I could you know, do this full time. No? Ayoko namang magtrabaho forever. <laughs> I, I, I don't want that, you know, working for money. I don't want to do that. But of course, for me to do this full time, I want an entity that pays me uh, whatever I need you know, to, to live my lifestyle. Ayoko naman ng, hindi naman ako yung tipo na bibili na yate. Ayoko naman <laughs> That's so excessive. Uh, or bibili na sports car. I, I, di ako ganun tao. Siguro, ang pinakaluho ko na lang siguro, yung parang pangarap ko is to have uh, three-bedroom condo, condominium na medyo high-end. Di naman ay, luxury. Kung kaya, luxury siguro. Somewhere in New Clark City. Uh, dun, gusto ko na lumipat doon eh, sa New Clark City in Tarlac. Because I, 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 again, it really also ties in here. I have a feeling, I have a belief na pagka na-execute na maayos yung New Clark City, it will be the innovation hub of the Philippines. So, dugtong-dugtong, di ba? Yung mga, yung, mga, yung mga bagay na, mga steps na ginagawa ko ngayon sa buhay ko is towards that vision na hopefully na ma-fulfill, ma- 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 but if not, na. Yeah. Okay lang. But, you know, at least I'm trying to take those steps towards that. Yeah. And yeah, um, yun nga, gusto ko sana magkaroon ng entity. Probably startup, di ba? Uh, impact-driven, but also profitable to for me to do this full-time. And, uh, I'm I, actually, sabi ko nga, uh, I'm not, I don't want to lie i want to be transparent about this na the career shifter philippines will probably play a role in that no? 
I'm trying to build that community. Of course, everything will always be free for career shifters. I don't want to burden career shifters and uh, career starters. Ayoko silang pagbayarin what, uh, na for something na they could have for free. Dapat talaga, knowledge is free. Angkat na are. And we will try to find other ways of creating profit and creating revenue. So, ma- para ma-support yun at para lumakilalo yung maging impact ng the Career Shifter Philippines. I have ideas, pero malayo-layo pa naman eh. So, I'm, trying to, I'm just trying to prepare myself, you know, equip, equip, equip myself with the skills necessary to move whatever that project would be forward. Siyempre, di ba? The Career Shifter Philippines, we're ano, helping people uh trans- transition into tech that entity should be you know hiring career shifters diba parang uh walking the walk ah no walking the walk walking the talk uh that that company should be doing whatever you know, we're saying or we, whatever mission the career shifters philippines is ano is building you know so ganun so I want to be transparent with that. Yeah, I led with everything that I've said. This will be a for-profit uh, entity. No, no, make no mistake about it. That's that's uh, that's the model that I want to pursue. But yeah, panim tanim lang tayo ngayon. Malayo pa naman yung sa future. Uh, ba- bata pa naman tayo eh. So again. Uh, July 23, birthday ko yun. Uh, I'll be 25. <laughs> Ilang taon na ako, 25 eh. No? <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, totoo na yun, 25 years old ako nun. <laughs> um, so, ano pa ba? Um, I've already discussed Kuya Dev, Tech Career Shifter Philippines, and you know whatever venture I'll be building with that. Um, yeah, um, yun lang. I guess that's it. Uh, yun yung end game ng Kuya Dev and Tech Te- Career Shifter Philippines. Na eventually, magkaroon talaga ng for profit entity na impact driven. It's possible, guys. May mga nagsasabi na hindi pwede yan. Huwag kasamahin mo yung impact ganyan. Tsaka ano, tsaka, <laughs> tsaka profit di kaya yan. Pwede yan. Uh, yung mga nagsasabi nun tamad lang mag-isip or are, are afraid of trying even trying I mean oo mahirap naman talaga but uh, kung walang walang gagawa sino gagawa di ba if, if it fails at, at least I tried di ba uh, yan uh, actually yung current company ko ganun ginagawa eh, but yeah. <laughs> they're uh they're a very profitable company, but uh, ang, ang North Star namin isn't profits. Eh. It's impact. Pag, uh, if you go into our ano, into our uh, company meetings, they discuss that openly. Na, oh, ito, nag-track tong revenue natin, ganyan, ganyan. But, but be- that's because we are doing this, this mission. Di ba? And we are, you know, we are, um, willing to sacrifice profits if it's if it you know if something is not isn't aligning with our mission we are more than willing to drop something you know right na sa amin yung mga clients namin we do that because we want to do things different so that's also what i want to do with whatever venture comes out of this na I want to do things different. Lalo na sa Pilipinas. Na ang isip is you're either charity or you're you're a for profit na na, ano, na entity. Na you can never be both. You can be both. Ano lang yan. Uh, it's not easy, of course. <laughs> Kasi nasabing madali. I I know I know the chances of failure is very uh, very very high. 
but uh, it's worth it's worth trying. So hopefully um na ano na paliwanag ko nang mabuti. Siguro may mga na leave out pa ako na hindi ko na lang natandaan, no? Alam niyo naman ako medyo makakalimutin. Um but siguro yung essence ng what I'm trying to do here is uh, sana klaro, klaro sa sa lahat. Na parang walang magulat na oh pa nagpapabayad na si ano ba't yung kumikita ng ganyan ganyan na uh, sa wala 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 walang lokohan dito <laughs> i'm for profit na, and impact ay oh so lumaki yung lumaki yung matul- yung natutulungan ko mga tao yung impact ko lumaki and the, the only way that i think that i could do that is to of course to have that funds na hindi naman charity yung dating nung ano no organization paulit-ulit ako eh no taikot-ikot but i just want to nail that ano uh, nail that uh, that point na uh, kaya yung kaya nakapag-shift nga tayo sa ano eh sa <laughs> industry di ba so i'm hoping na siguro rin yung ibang nakikinig sa inyo uh, maisip do- nyo rin yan na ma-inspire din kayo sana sana mo ma-motivate na sana kung okay na kayo in your careers no tapos na secure niyo na rin sarili niyo financially try to ano uh, create something din na medyo meaningful for others you know? hindi naman kailangan katulad ng ginagawa ko maybe no start small uh, hindi naman kailangan sobrang grand na vision or mission but something na parang you live for every day no? na para sa ibang tao naman. Especially, you know, we, are, we are a Christian nation. No? Christian, uh, actually, religious, religious, uh, <coughs> we, are, we are a religious country. It's a pity that, you know, we are not capitalizing on that, no? yung, yung helping other people. Ano lang, disclaimer lang, or disclosure, disclaimer. Yeah, I'm not really a religious person. Actually, I'm I'm more of, of an agnostic uh, type of person. So, but, you know, I don't want to offend, offend of course. I, I respect other people's beliefs, but my belief is, you know, I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm agnostic. Uh, maybe I would change my mind someday. I don't know. But currently, I'm, I am. I am. Um yeah so thank you thank you for uh for listening to another episode of Kuya Dev Tidbits podcast and yung mga regalo nyo for my birthday padala nyo na lang <laughs> DM nyo na lang ako <laughs> no, joke lang actually sa mga nagdi-DM sorry ah hindi ako makapag-reply sobrang busy uh I I try at least once a week to reply to people uh but mostly pagka mas malaking chance na mag-reply ako sa mga comments eh kasi syempre public yung mga yan mas marami na nakakita mas malaki yung impact DMs kasi tayong dalawa lang nag-uusap <coughs> excuse me tayong dalawa lang nag-uusap medyo alita impact eh parang not not to ano ah not to uh, ano kaya sana wala ma offend na you know I'm, tra- I'm trying to be mindful of the time that I ano eh of uh, how I spend my time. So, ano rin, kasama din yung pahinga. Kailangan yung pahinga, di ba? Mga petics na moments. Ano yun? Kailangan. And, there's just 24 hours in a day. Sobrang kulang. <laughs> Lalo na kung uh, tulad ng ganito, may, you have, you have a personal mission and a vision you, you, you want to pursue. Kulang na kulang ang isang, ano, ang 24 hours sa isang araw. As ngayon, nag-aano pa ako ngayon. Nag, 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 uh, trying to get fit para humaba pa yung buhay, di ba? <laughs> Papalaki yung chance na ma-fulfill yung, yung vision nga na yan. Uh, so I need to be healthy. Uh, I'm, I'm, actually, uh, consequentially, I'm also uh, eating plant-based. Not because of health. Medyo na lang yun. Uh, parang bonus na lang. Pero I'll discuss that in another episode siguro if you if you guys are interested. 
But yeah, yan. Papaka healthy. Uh, it all ties in to everything that I've said here. Everything that I ano. Actually, mag probably next year nga mag-apply ako for uh, master of ano an MS, uh, master masteral in computer science. Not here in the Philippines, but try ko sa sa US. Online lang naman. May mga courses naman diyan na online na masters. Napatunayan naman ng pandemic na kaya, di ba? Na kaya mag-aral online. So hopefully ay maka, maka ano, patanggap ako. Uh, again, crossing fingers. I, no. Not I feel that ano man yung matutunan ko doon, may impart ko rin sa inyo. No. Makatulong din sa sa mga journey niyo, tech journey. And maybe after that, meron pa ako isang masteral na gustong kunin. Again, ties in everything to everything na ginagawa ko ngayon. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you again for uh, tapusin ko na yung episode. Uh, this has been Rem, your Kuya Dev. And happy birthday to me. I don't... Sobrang, ano, sobrang awkward. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and yeah cheers and see you again uh, next episode